Sorno, the author of Your Bones, and today I'd like to share with you some information that I hope will help you to have healthier bones. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about the question of whether absorbing calcium by itself, or even calcium along with vitamin D, is sufficient to help you build enough bone uh, that you will not be losing bone overall. And the answer to that is no. Calcium by itself, even if accompanied by vitamin D, has only been found to reduce the rate at which bone is lost, but not to outpace bone loss and produce an actual increase in new bone being laid down. There's only one type of calcium supplement that has ever been shown to outpace bone loss and produce such an increase in bone deposition that we actually build more bone than we're losing, and that is AlgaCal, which contains a lot more than just calcium. Actually, there are four different kinds of plant source calcium in AlgaCal, um, which is derived from a special type of marine algae called Algus calcareus, because this algae is so rich in calcium. But another key point here is that this special marine algae also contains a whole host of other trace minerals that are essential for building healthy bones. But back to our current topic. What the research shows about calcium by itself or calcium plus vitamin D can do to prevent bone loss has been summarized in an exhaustive meta-analysis of randomized trials that altogether involved 63,897 subjects 50 years of age or older, most of whom were healthy postmenopausal women whose average age was 67.8 years. This meta-analysis included 23 trials involving 41,419 subjects in which they measured changes in bone mineral density. And what they found was that calcium and vitamin D do slow bone loss, but they do not increase bone mineral density overall. In not a single one of these studies did calcium or calcium combined with vitamin D increase bone mineral density over the study period. Although in the 17 trials uh, that were looked at involving bone mineral density um, and included 52,625 postmenopausal women, okay, that we, and that looked at bone uh, at fracture as an outcome, supplementation was associated with a 12% risk in all types of fractures. So this is helpful, but the overall finding was that with or without vitamin D, calcium supplementation was only associated with a quote unquote reduced rate of bone loss, a yearly age-related decline of at least 1% and BMD is what is expected when taking only vitamin D and non-plant sources of calcium. In the trials that reported on bone mineral density, this was 23 trials involving 41,419 subjects, both calcium and calcium plus vitamin D were associated with a reduced rate of bone loss of 0.54% at the hip and 1.19% in the spine. In other words, instead of losing the typical 1% of bone mineral density each year that's seen in women after menopause, um, an amount of bone loss that can increase to more than 2% per year during the menopausal transition, um, and is also seen in men as their testosterone levels drop, typically in the late 50s and 60s, study subjects who were taking calcium and vitamin D lost bone at a slower rate. But the key point here is they lost bone. Has any form of supplemental calcium actually been shown to increase bone mineral density so that instead of losing at least 1% and maybe more of bone mineral density each year, we can actually start building more new bone than we lose through the normal remodeling process that goes on throughout our lives um, and is healthy and necessary? The answer is a resounding yes, and the research confirming it is the topic of our next video. So I hope you'll tune in then. Thanks for tuning in today. Bye.